Now back to our coverage of the deadly school shooting. Students and staff at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School haven't been on campus since Wednesday, Wednesday, and this morning we're learning more about when the district will try to start getting things back to normal as the morning continues. CBS 4's Jim Tafiti spoke with Broward Superintendent Robert Runcy about that and more. When will school reopen for, for the students there at Marjorie Selman Douglas? Uh, we're going through the planning now. Um, the earliest we believe we may be able to do that um, is um, later this coming week, uh, which would be Thursday and Friday. We believe that the right cadence is to have our teachers come back, um, to have them uh, begin to work together, provide counseling support for them as well. Um, and then figure out how we transition the students in the following day. So I think the first couple days or so of school, um, they're going to be flexible, um, you know, days that are not purely instructional, but really helping the faculty and the students. One, they need to connect their family, they need to grieve together, they need to heal together. We need to provide space and time for that to occur. This is difficult for them. I mean, it's just absolutely walking back, difficult. Walking back on that campus, not even that building, forget that building. Right. That campus. Yes. yes. So, yeah, we're going to have to have lots of resources at the ready uh, when they show up to school, and that's our plan. So we're going through, through that now, and, you know, we're talking to teachers, we're talking to students to do the best um, that we can to accommodate them. It's, it's sad that I can ask this question this way, but since there are so many schools that have now experienced this type of tragedy, have you heard from some of those school districts to reach out to you and, and offer you any sort of lessons that, that they went through? Um, yes, we've heard from lots of school districts, lots of superintendents. I can tell you, um, Sandy Hook, for example, we've actually already been working with um, the Sandy Hook folks through an organization they have that works with school districts around the country. Since the shooting or before the shooting? Long before the shooting. But have you heard Over, from them since? Yes, um, we, we have been in touch with them. Um, and what, what's the advice that they gave you? Well, you know, I think part of the advice, I mean, it's a number of things, but it's, it's really actually providing services, reaching out um, to um, students, uh, making sure that, you know, we connect uh, with them. I think that's one of the, the biggest um, challenges here, and, and, and we're working to, to shift our focus in public education here in Broward County so it's not purely about academics. It's about the whole child. We believe that this approach um, will help close some of those gaps, ensure that kids are connected, that they're engaged, and we're tending to the social emotional needs that they have. I've been surveying some legislators. It seems pretty universal that, that they're going to give you the funding you need to build a separate building somewhere else and to give you the ability to tear that class, that building down, building 1200, just like they did in Sandy Hook. Have you started even thinking about what should go in that space instead? No, that's a, that's a conversation for the community. Um, it is their right. It should be their say, their call. Um, there will be a process in place um, if we can secure the funding, um, get approvals from the state, and of course get approval from our school board. And I can tell you our school board members have just been outstanding. I mean, every day and night they're calling, they're, they're reaching out on their own um, to really support uh, victims, our families, and this whole entire community. Uh, but yes, uh, we, we welcome that. We'll continue to work with our state legislature. Um, I think they, those, they have their hearts in the right place. I think they'll do the right thing, and we're ready to move forward and help this community um, through this healing process. It, we're never going to forget this day, but we need to figure out how we can um, put lives back together and families um, back together so that we can move on and, um, you know, try to work and ensure that these lives that were lost were not in vain. Uh, we need to move uh, from sympathy and concern to persistent action until we get some changes in um, uh, gun, gun laws as well as investments in mental health and social emotional supports for children in school and out of school. It's the start of a long process. It's the start of a long process. The day has come. We need to have those conversations now followed by actions tomorrow. Mr. Superintendent, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much.